if we're going to do videos about hearses, we have to look at some of the most popular hearses that we have seen in the media and in news over the years. This may not have been during your lifetime, but these are the top 10 most notable hearses that have been out there. So most recently, our number one, and these are ranked in no particular order, is Aretha Franklin's hearse. It was a 1940 pearl white LaSalle Cadillac hearse. And this had also transported her dad when he died and Rosa Parks for her funeral. So just because of its history on who it had transported, it was pretty notable. Our number two was a hearse that was used by Neil Young. And he had the 1948 Buick Roadmaster. He had a band called the Squires and this was their car to transport all of their equipment. So they became known for this hearse that transported all their equipment to all their gigs and he had named it The Mort and even one of his songs he referred to The Mort in it. So in the movie Ghostbuster we have our number three which is a 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor and this was quite the introduction to many people to the large, longer Landau style hearse that also doubled for an ambulance. And so it was perfect for that movie and for that, you know, vocation of, of ghost busting. Now, number four was JFK's hearse, which was viewed by millions in newsprint and on TV. And the, his funeral was epic for its time. His, cal or his hearse was a 1964 Cadillac Miller Meteor. It was white and it was actually bought for auction later for $176,000 and a gentleman put it in his own private car collection. Our next notable hearse was for Abraham Lincoln and it was a horse-drawn hearse and was quite extravagant for back in the day. So they've created a replica of it that they have put in museums and have showcased the last few years because the original was destroyed in a fire back in 1887. But it had taken the president's body from the state capitol to Oak Ridge Cemetery for his burial back in 1865. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty elaborate for the time. For all of you Six Feet Under fans, Claire Fisher's hearse is the next one on the list. It was a 1971 Cadillac SNS Victoria and it was quite gaudy in color with the green, but it made a prominent part in especially the first few episodes of the show um, when her and her boyfriend were in the back of it and when she was driving it around and so most people that have watched the show will clearly remember that hearse. A classic movie of 1971, Harold and Maude, has our next hearse, and that was a 1959 Cadillac Superior three-way. There was also a hearse in the movie, a 1971 Jaguar XKE 4.2 Series 1, and Harold in the movie had made one of these um, and kind of, you know, m morphed two uh, cars together to create this hearse, but they were pretty epic uh, in this movie. A lot of tragedy is often surrounding some of these epic hearses that we're talking about. A 1977 Miller Meteor Landau was the transportation vehicle for the King Elvis when he died, and that hearse actually later burned up in a fire in 1984. The next hearse worth mentioning was a cream-colored 1966 Cadillac Superior Royal Coach and this played quite a role in the days following Martin Luther King Jr.'s death. From the hospital he was transported in it over to the funeral home and he had a viewing there um, briefly and then he was taken to the airport in it where he was then flown back to Atlanta for his burial. 
That hearse was later sold by the funeral home so they could upgrade to a newer one. And the Cajun Pawn Star TV show had an episode and they found that hearse and redid it, brought it back to life, and which is a bad pun when you're talking funeral things, I know. Um, and so they restored that hearse back to its original condition. Mm -hmm.